Let's do a few examples of subtracting mixed numbers with renaming with unlike denominators. Okay, so I'm just going to have a couple extra steps to it. So let's look at the problem 7 and 5 um, twelfths minus 2 and 1 half. Okay, so here are our two fractions, 7 and 5 twelfths minus two and one half. So I see that I do not have like denominators, so I need to find a common denominator first. All right, so remember, to find a common denominator, we're gonna find multiples that the two denominators have in common. All right, so if I count by two, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 12 is a multiple of two. So we're gonna keep 12 as our denominator here, seven and five twelfths. And we're going to change our two and a half to have a denominator of 12. So I'm going to think, well, 2 times 6 equals 12. So I'm going to do 1 times 6, which is going to give me 6. Okay, so my new problem is 7 and 5 twelfths minus 2 and 6 twelfths. Well, now I see that I have not enough twelfths up here to take six twelfths away. So I'm going to borrow more twelfths from the seven, okay? I'm gonna regroup it, I'm gonna borrow from my seven. Okay, I'm gonna make him six, I'm gonna take one away from that seven, but I'm gonna take it away as twelfths, twelve twelfths, I'm gonna add twelve twelfths onto my five. Okay, and the trick the shortcut is just think about your denominator and add that to your numerator because that's how many you need for one, 12 twelfths. I'm gonna add 12 to five and get 17 twelfths. All right, so I, now I can subtract 17 twelfths minus six twelfths is gonna give me 11 twelfths and six minus two is four. So my answer, my difference is four and 11 twelfths. I had to add 12 twelfths to my 5 twelfths. So I would have 17 twelfths in order to subtract. Let's try one more example. Okay, let's do six and three fourths minus three and two thirds, okay? Six and three fourths minus three and two thirds. Actually, I think that's gonna work out just fine. Let's do three and four fifths. 